disturbing our country before the global community by clinging on to the hope and possibilities that Nigeria offers and not by widening her fault lines. This was a submission of the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatsunde Raji Fashola, while delivering a keynote address at the 2022 The Niche Newspaper Annual Lecture held in Lagos. Plus TV News correspondent Love Ikuku Oyeduku has more. These are high-profile political and business leaders. Here are the 2022 Annual Niche Intellectual Lecture tinkering solutions to some of Nigeria's most daunting problems. It is coming 20 days to the formal flag off of campaigns for the 2023 general elections. Minister of Works and Housing, Babatu De Fashola, in his keynote address, posited that elections and democracies must represent a feast of ideas and choices that bring out the best from the country. We can win elections without exaggerating our problems. We can do so by offering credible service and well thought out solutions, by valorizing and clinging on to the hope that Nigeria's possibilities offer, not by widening her fault lines. Elections and democracy. Fashola, while highlighting the successes of democracy in Nigeria, ask Nigerians to see themselves as government. But this comment sparked another channel of debate. No, we are not the government. We are not. Because if you look at Nigeria today, you look at how bewildered, totally perplexed that we are at the state of things and how we, the, the people, and in fact the youth, are rebelling against the establishment in politics. Every one of us here is responsible for the situation of this. Why? Because when I see you drive on the road, are you all mad? <laughs> no, we are no animals. In animal kingdom, there's orderliness. Do you have orderliness here? I'm ashamed of the whole Nigerian. Okay. Our democracy, especially in the last seven years, has also come with uh, significant uh, challenges. Our country has never been more divided. Our country has never been more insecure. Our, our debt has never been as high as it is today. And um, infrastructure, yes, in spite of modest progress, uh, remains a significant challenge. Former Director General of NEMASA, Dakoko Peterside, is rather worried about what he called burden of governance after the elections. Managing the expectation of Nigerian people is not going to be a walk in the park. And why will it be so? There are many reasons. One is that we face monumental insecurity and it is very easy to lay blame on everybody. Nevertheless, Fashola believes the book stops at the doorstep of the media. He charged them to redirect the narratives through conversations that shape the country by educating the masses about how to vote. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.